I think I've done it everyone, perpetual motion. So you can see there's a little slot for the ball to drop into, then it rolls down this track, gains enough momentum, and jumps back up into the top, and just keeps going forever. Watch. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> it just keeps going forever. Look at that. This type of machine is so difficult to make. Many have tried and failed. And the reason they failed is because you know what they say the hardest part about a perpetual motion machine is? It's trying to figure out where to hide the batteries. And that's exactly what's going on here. There's a hidden touch switch that turns on an electric pulse that creates a magnetic force that continually pushes the steel ball each time it goes past the bottom of the track. If I turn it off, then it doesn't even come close to getting near the top of the track, let alone flying with enough speed to get back to the top of the track. Now watch what happens when I turn it off. <laughs> Although I will give it to the makers of this machine, the electric power pulse is completely silent and you wouldn't know it's a hidden power source unless you take it apart at the base here. So is it really impossible for things to move in perpetual motion like this or even to move in perpetual motion at all? Well let's see, but before we do I want to thank Harry's for sponsoring this video. Harry's makes my morning routine so much easier. They make men's personal care products and amazing razors that work just as good the tenth time as they do the first time you use it. Even when growing a beard like me, you still need to shave to get the look you want. I love using Harry's products. They have super sharp handcrafted blades with a cool textured handle that gives a quality shave every time. Their razors are fair price and amazing quality, and also the foaming shave gel is suitable for sensitive skin with skin-loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid. They also deliver the razors directly to your door, so it's super convenient, and they have a 100% money-back guarantee because they know you'll love their products. Also, what's really neat is they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations as well. Their starter set includes a five blade German engineered razor cartridge with a weight textured handle and they also include the shave cream with aloe and a travel blade cover. So if you want to try out Harry's go to harrys.com action or click the link in my description to get their starter set with a value of $13 for just $5. Now let's get back to our experiment. We know that Newton's first law says that a body remains at rest or in motion at a constant speed in a straight line unless acted upon by a force. So for example, once you set something moving in motion, it will just stay in motion forever unless you exert a force later on it to stop it. On Earth, we usually don't see anything like that happen because if you throw a ball, the friction from the ground or the air eventually stops it pretty quickly. So friction ruins everything. But what if you throw a ball in space? Will it just keep moving forever at the exact same speed that it started with? Well, that's what's happening with the Earth in orbit around the Sun. It's in motion orbiting around the Sun and it will continue to do so for a long, long time. But will it keep moving forever, really? Is the motion of celestial bodies really forever? Well, eventually the Sun will turn into a red giant and engulf the Earth, so we know that it will eventually stop the Earth. But what about two neutral bodies that never decay in binary orbit at some distant point in the universe? Will they just keep moving forever like this? Well, it seems like there would be nothing to stop these ever. In fact, if I turn up the time scale here, you can see billions of years go by and they're still just moving like normal like when they started. But will they move forever? Well, technically the answer is still no. That's because whenever you have orbiting objects, they're actually giving off gravitational waves, thus losing energy, so eventually they'll stop orbiting. But what about just a rock thrown in space moving in a straight line? Since there's no acceleration like in orbiting bodies, then the rock doesn't give off gravitational waves. So technically it could still move forever at the same speed. But in reality, space is not a perfect vacuum, so it will run into cosmic gases and dust, and even photons hitting it will eventually stop it. So as long as there's other mass existing in the universe, nothing can move forever unless it's the only thing that exists in the universe. But if that's the case, then there is no such thing as a constant velocity because there's nothing to compare it to. 
So in general, perpetual motion is the norm for all moving bodies in time frames that we care about. Everything will just keep moving unless you slow it down with another force. Now in all of this talk of perpetual motion, notice that I never once talked about extracting energy from the thing that we put in motion. We're only discussing whether or not it can stay in motion as an isolated object by itself. As soon as you do anything to extract energy from the thing that's moving, it will immediately slow down. We know that we can't even get anything to move on its own indefinitely, so of course you can't get anything to move forever while extracting energy from it. Anytime you try to do an energy balance of any machine you can come up with, you'll find that you always use more energy running the machine than you could ever get out of it. In fact, it's usually never even close. If ever it seems like you're getting more energy out than you put in, it means that you did the energy balance wrong and missed a source of energy. Just like at the beginning of this video when we forgot to account for the batteries in the device. Silly me. And thanks again to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Remember to click the link in the description for a special deal on their starter set. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.